Well, I hope you like this lesson and you pay close attention because you're going to need to. Bazinga! You're looking at Lesson 2 on Google Forms, Creating a Quiz. Now, we have the directions all listed for you all the way through here and an example of one of the quizzes or one of the questions from a quiz. If you follow this lesson step by step, you should have very little, if any, difficulty. However, we are also going to provide you with a video and show you how to do it for the first quiz, and then you just simply repeat it for a second, third, and fourth quiz. Let's look at that video now. I opened up a blank form, and I typed in U.S. Citizenship Test, and I clicked up here so we can save it. Now we want a quiz, so I'm going to click over here, click on Settings, and click on Quiz. Now, let's grab this slider and move it over, and we want immediate response after submission and it's you want the person to know the questions they missed the correct answers and the point value and simply hit save okay so now here is the first question and or that's the name of the test let's type in the first question here when you type in the first um, response just simply hit your enter key and now you can type in the second one after you typed it in, you want to click on the answer key, and the answer to this one is the Constitution, and how many points? Let's say five points for that one. Okay, then simply hit the plus sign, and you go to the next question, and repeat the same process over and over again until you're satisfied. Then, if you want, when you're done, customize your theme. You can either print a color or... If you wish, you can choose a header. Choose any header you'd like that deals with whatever your quiz is on. I'm going to choose, uh, let me slide down here. Obviously, this one, educational, and hit select. Okay. Then you can preview it by clicking on this button and then settings for the last one. Click on settings and quizzes. And if you want, immediately after submission or later on, we'll probably pick with immediately after submission, then simply hit save. Okay. And the last thing you want to do is click on send. Now you can send it somebody's email or you can click on the link and you can click here to shorten the link and copy and paste it and put it in somebody's email or put it in a document somewhere. Either one. It would be best if you sent me an email with the link, and that way I could give you the grade and answer it for you. So you just simply keep on, let me hit AX here, you just simply keep on repeating what I just showed you for the first question over and over four times. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. That's all, folks.